Now, just the day before Russia's presidential elections, Ukrainian long-range drones smashed into two oil facilities deep inside Russia. Well, an armed incursion claimed by Ukraine-based Russian opponents of the Kremlin has unnerved the border region. Now, the attack by waves of Ukrainian drones have targeted at least about eight different locations in Russia. Now, the Russian Defense Ministry says that Moscow's military and security forces managed to kill 234 enemy fighters, while also thwarting the attempted incursion. In a statement, the ministry has said that the Russian military and border forces were able to stop the attackers and to avert a cross-border raid. It has also said that the attackers lost about seven tanks and five armored vehicles. Meanwhile, four people were killed in overnight Russian drone and missile attacks in Ukraine's northeastern Sumy and eastern Donetsk regions. According to Ukrainian officials, the Russian forces dropped a bomb on the Mirnorad town in Donetsk region, killing at least about two people and injuring five others. The Sumy Regional Military Administration said that a Russian drone hit a apartment block overnight. In Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's hometown, the death toll from the Russian missile attacks from the previous night has now risen to four. And according to the governor, 43 people have also been wounded. So with just days to go for the elections in Russia, President Vladimir Putin has in fact appealed to the voters, including in the annexed parts of Ukraine, to be united in determining Russia's future, by casting their ballots in this week's presidential elections that are slated to begin from tomorrow. Now, opinion polls indicate that Vladimir Putin has the support of a majority of the Russians, with one survey indicating that Vladimir Putin at this moment enjoys nearly 75% of the popular support. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.